Hello, everybody. Happy Thursday. <laughs> How are all you lovely, jubbly people? Hello, Kat. Hi, Kelly. Hi, Ems. Welcome. So, as you know, I did the poll on um, the community tab. And I found some interesting information when I spoke to Jane, my friend, she was going doing a vote and it wouldn't actually let her. You can only vote on the community tab via a computer. I didn't even know that. So anyone on a mobile can't vote apparently, or according to Jane's tablet, that's what it said. So there was 54 votes last time I checked and Fragile Worlds was in front by a length and a half, if not more, um, so Fragile Worlds won out and I've picked an image what I think I really like so we shall get on doing that. Why can you see my big head shadow in there? Ugh. I think I've put on way too much weight that I cannot roll my chair. <laughs> Hi Wendy. Hi Murray. Welcome everybody coming in. So I'm going to be using my Uhu markers. Uh, my husband bought me these for my birthday. He was well chuffed. He hid them from me and he said, don't you dare even peek. So when I was telling everyone in January, I'm not allowed to look at my Amazon. This was why, because he'd ordered it on our... Did you vote via more about that? That was weird then, Ems. Hmm, maybe it's the settings Jane's got on. Um. So yeah, I couldn't look and then... <laughs> I was thinking, what's he ordered me? What's he ordered me? And I thought he'd ordered me something off my actual wish list. And he'd not. He went out on his own and just picked these amazing little markers. Now, I've not reviewed them yet. I am going to do. I'm just in the process of doing some reviews that are going to go on throughout March. And these will be in them. So they'll be doing swatchy, swatchy, putting a swatchy, swatchy playlist on. I'm going to swatch everything I've got, including my major surprise. Some people know I've got them and others don't, but it's going to be a surprise at the end of my haul video. So I'm just in the process of them as well as finishing the buddy colour that you see in the corner here. We have three more days left. And I think I'm the only one that's still got three days left to colour. <laughs> I've got to colour tomorrow's tonight. So I'll be using these amazing markers. I haven't tried them, so this will be the first time. The only thing I have done is swatched out the colours for the page that I'm going to be colouring so I can get the right colours. Uh, and as you can see, this is what colour the parrots are. So I'm going to be doing the... I've even forgot what they're called. <laughs> so hi everyone coming in. Let me just see what they were called because I can't remember. Uh, thick build parrots. So the page we're using these these are i'll tell you what page in a second these are the color markers they are water based so i'm going to be using, watering them down so you have a brush tip and you have i bring it up here a fine liner so they're really good for little individual um designy bits i've jumped ahead finished the days just need to finish the outline the outline is my um, little bit of a thing. I don't know what I'm doing with that. So if you want to colour along and you've got the uh -hoo -hoo, am I saying that right? Uh -hoo -hoo markers. Sorry, colouring and watching. No problem. Colour away, Murray. Colour away. I've lost my little tag. There. So these are what I'm colouring. So I'm just going to be doing this page because I, I, I like how the wings are open. And funnily enough, <laughs> uncannily enough actually, the picture that I found looks very, very similar, um, if not identical to the page, which is a bit bizarre. So this is the picture. Can you see that we're going off? And it's virtually, it's stood on a branch the same. It's virtually the same image. So let me just get my, um, I don't like that focus. It's being a focus annoyance today. That no oh why is it froze on that funny looking there we go i don't know if that looks any different but there you go you see how uncannily the same it is 
So, hopefully, I can do it good with these markers. Let me just turn this down. Right, I'm going to put chat up. I'm going to have to watch chat from my computer. Hi, Katrina. So, if I do miss anyone's chat, because I'll have to watch from the actual live stream, um, do put it in caps and pop it in again so I can see what you're all saying because i'll have to keep looking to my right to get it so let's have a see what we want to do with these so i hope everybody is well and you're having a lovely week already i'm just going to match up some colors now so I'm just pulling it in. Let me just come a bit close to the page. You can all see what I'm doing, which would help be helpful. And probably helps if you don't know how to pick colours. But I always get re reference pictures, and this is what I do. I'll sit and I'll study these pictures that we've got here. So the more towards the yellow greens rather than the blue greens. There's probably some blue greens there. And there's also some olive greens. So what I may do quite dark on his underbelly let me just check that they are actually that dark mm, they're not that dark what's happened to him <laughs> bless the bird so they're not actually that dark they're quite light everywhere so i'm glad i had that other picture so i'll not use his belly on this picture i'm going to use this picture for his head and his wings so hi hedwidge I wish you happy stream and call me Hedgy. Hedgy DD gave me that name because mine is too long. <laughs> she said and I like it. Call you Hed Hedgy. That's fine with me. I'll probably forget though by next stream. So you may have to remind me a few times because I sometimes will call you something else that's probably not even your name. So you have to bear with me with that sometimes. I'm quite bad with the um, names so i think i'm going to need to do a purple let's see if there's any purples on here i've not been had time to swatch them all out so i'm really unplanned on this and it's really it's not good really but that's what happens sometimes 47 just have a look what number 47 is The other one. I'm not liking that parrot. I honestly don't think I've got a colour like that in here. What did you do with 96? No, let me check this 96. This one might work. They are really pretty birds, aren't they? I just hope I can do it justice with this marker and I don't ruin my page. 96. Oh, yes, that's the colour I'm after. Um. Right, yes, I'm on it with that. I like that. That's the one I'm after. So I feel a bit unorganised. So I definitely want 96. And I definitely want... I'm going to have to just go with the darkest I have, which I think is number two. Number two. with you first okay 
So let's get on with it. <laughs> Little owls. Okay. I need to stop playing with me. I've had a shower, so I can't keep smushing it so it goes a bit curly. So I don't have to straighten it for a change. Right. So I'm going to lay down with the watercolour first and then I might add, add some texture in with the... Um... I'm going to put this in where you can see what I'm doing, actually. I'm going to put my sliding everywhere. I think lining this may have been a mistake because everything is sliding, you see. <laughs> Hi, Mona! So this is num number two. There's no names on these markers. Does anybody else do that with markers? You pull the other lid off the other end. So I just tried to put that lid on that end instead of thinking I put that down there. So all this. I'm just going to build up the layers with it really. All this section here is red. It comes round the eye as well. I'm going to take it to there actually. Let me just. Um, there must be it, someone's phone around here somewhere because it keeps going ping, ping, and I'm like, what is that noise? My favourite emoji is this one. Is that a dolphin? Is it a dolphin? Is it a seal? I can't really tell. <laughs> I love little owlies. Okay, so I'm going to build up on it. And then I'll go in with the fine liner in a second. Ooh, that was too way too much water. That's not going to build up nothing. It's a seal. That's good. I've not got my glasses on, and at the minute, my eyes have gone quite blurry. I don't know if it's because I'm spending more time on my phone these days than I'm used to. So I'm just layering up, trying to get it darker and darker. Seal of approval. What would my emoji be then for me? Oh, seashell, obviously. Kelly does it all the time. <laughs> I'm trying to get zoomed in on it and my uh, little... It's a little screen there, so I'm like, uh, what is that? I don't know why Kirby's done all that bit there so black, because actually the actual bird has got like a... An ivory to it. So I'm going to switch up now and use the number 96. I'm going to add it to the same. It's a bit dry that. Mm. 
hopefully it's going to go darker. Very dry that, there's hardly anything coming out of that. Maybe I'm going to end up reverting to the pencils. I'm going to swap that out for a blue one second. That's much better. So this is my attempts to just do this with all this water media and use Kirby's kind of patterns that he's already put in as the Okay, so I'm gonna go back to number two. These lids are so hard. And I'm just gonna try and blend that out a little bit. And the lack of water that these put out. help you a little bit really Kelly's watercolour looks amazing as well I didn't even know it was watercolour when I saw it I was like girl mm. that is amazing and then on the edge so would it help if I keep the picture there what I'm looking at would that help when it comes to referencing so I'm just going to put a little bit of this um blue and a little well that's number it's going to be hard to do this number 91 and then number 96 mix them together i want just a little line along the edge of here Kind of caught a goose. I think there's quite a few colouring this this week. Can cause work, work, isn't there? Okay, and what I'm going to do with the fine liner. In fact, I'll let it dry before I mess with that. I shall let it dry. I want the lightest green that the set does, which is number 73. And I don't want to put it directly down on the paper because I want the light version of it, which so I'm going to be watering that day. And I'm going to swap up to my Montmartre brush, which is my size medium. I'll take that off now if anyone, because you can all see what um, I'm using on there. Oops. I have a uh... I'm going to zoom in close on the head. The book is on a right slide. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to base it all in this colour first. And then I'm going to build it up in areas according to the reference picture I've got.
I've ordered a new book today. Whoops. <laughs> so when I was watching Connie's earlier, I was like, um, Connie, I'm going to close my eyes and shut my ears for this one because I really cannot get another book or else I'm going to get a slap book. <laughs> I'm so naughty. I'm just going to put all these bases in. Rita Burnham, the underwater book. Rita Burnham's books are really good as well. I don't actually have any of Rita's books. Um, but I have seen, I'm on a Facebook page and I just think I already have loads of Kirby's and that kind of book is similar to this so I thought there's no point in me buying even more of them <laughs> they also remind me of the uh, myth are they called mythographic books they remind me a lot of that This is number 73. I'm going to have to go and calm my son down in a second. He's getting a bit loud again. So these underneath his wing is grey, but I'm just going to do these top ones green. Just a bit under his foot there. Definitely nothing wrong with having all someone's books. I think I've got all Kirby's now apart from one. Don't think I have. Geomorphia. I don't think. So let me have a look at what's going on with. Let me go 65. I'm just going to put my book on top of under the book for the way of that. I'll hold my boot where I want it. 65. Where have you gone? Oh, 65, 65. No, I want. Yeah. No. 64. <laughs> that was so decisive. Will that bleed through? Possibly, possibly not. Let me have a look. Yeah, the red has a little bit. So yeah, you're gonna probably lose your page on the page before. I'll just make sure I do the tortoise on the next page. I am trying to be careful with how much water I'm using. Um, but yeah, it will. You have to want to sacrifice to pay for before, but I'm surprised really with them being water based because I've used watercolors on them before and they've not they've not done that. But I did put a few quite a few layers on that red bit actually. Under his eye, yeah. We've got this. 
and if blurry green color I'm just tapping it out I'm going to pull it out a little bit And then into so let me get 68 sorry i'm trying to keep up with chat hi tommy welcome happy thursday i'm having to keep looking back at the chat so i, I do apologize if um I miss anybody coming in. Normally I have my little tablet at the side of me so I know who's in and who's I can see who's coming in and coming out. I haven't got it up today. So round the mouth here. Got this darker green. Just gonna tap it away towards the edge there. And then I'm just going to blend it out a little bit. Hi, Debbie. Welcome. So Mary, when I've put all these colours down, I'll have a see um, what is bleeding and what's not. So let's have 66. Oh, I've got 66 out. Hmm, no, I've not. Oh, it's here. And that's going to come in under here. It's kind of in patches like this. into that sorry everyone is anyone coming hi Ruthie happy Thursday I think I'm gonna have to go under my desk and put my tab in I'm now and he's got a patreon nice i'm just going to blend this out a little bit just with the water i've not got no color on this is the thing i wished that kirby's books was he would do these amazing pictures but then do his books where there's not a page on the back because they do take water quite well. I mean, you get a bit of buckling, but nothing, nothing major. So then in these bits, I want a really yellow. Yellow, yellow, yellow. So 38.
please remember to be in live chat and hit the thumbs up. Oh, thanks, Kat. So I've got a bit of yellow mixed in with that green. I'm going to make like a yellowy green. And then I'm going to add it in to his little belly here. a bit of a different tones of green going on along his chest here so I'm trying to recreate here oops you see how we've got different tones going on throughout his chest so that's what I'm trying to I don't want to flash that much that too much on the screen because it's got a copyright on it <laughs> Hi Dee Dee, happy Thursday. I want to get Bennett Clean's Colour My Sketch for characters but can't find it anywhere. Oh, I've not heard of the one that with characters. So we're going to come back to doing 73. mixed with a bit of 66 and that's just before it goes dark again down here I just want to add these in kind of just leaving patches of lighter colours Oops. I'm just going to use the water to blend that out. Add some in in places here. Just where it looks a bit like there's too much light areas. Hi Tonya, happy Thursday. I got one in for as well. Weavers characters is my must list. Check every day on Amazon to see if it's available. Is it a new one? Day. go have a nice chilling bath so I'm just going to do a tiny bit of 66 tiny bit of 68 oh these blades are so hard I feel like I'm having a workout just from pulling marker lids off So I'm just going to add bits of dark here. I really couldn't decide what to do, so I'm really thankful for everyone just picking for me today on YouTube. So thank you very much for that. Because I was, I was just... Do you know when you're just in that mood of you can't decide what you want to do? I was like, come on, Shell, pick what you want to do. And I just couldn't pick it. I'm blending that out now. So I've got that texture really with them colours on his belly. I was after that like texture goings on there. I'll bring that down. I need to see. What they look like here. Because they've got bits of the different colours. I'm going to dot this around at the bottom. I 
I think it is going to be a relaxing one tonight. You can feel, you can tell when it's going to be a really giddy one, or it's going to be um, a quiet, chilled stream. And then again, I don't know because I've had quite chilled streams, and then someone said something, and that's it. I'm off. So I've mixed sixty-six and sixty-eight together again. And I'm just going to kind of. Pull this down towards the tail. Like that. where the tree is there I'm just going to fill it in you know since 2016 but my killing journey only started last year when in lockdown happened ah uh, And also, um, Tammy, go in some of the Facebook groups uh, that do sell, uh, the selling ones where you've got, I think there's a few like uh, swaps or selling out materials on Facebook and just put a post in there saying what boot you're looking for. And if it's been out that long, there's maybe somebody on there that's got it that doesn't colour in it anymore. So maybe try that as well. Right, let's have a see what's going on with his, the back. So we want the brightest green we've got here, so that's going to be 69. Um, do you know, it's easier that they're numbered, but it's it'd be better if they had a name. It would be a lot better if they had a name. So number 69, it's quite a bright green. Oh, this is coming around the top of his head here. Just to brighten that up. There's a bit of brown tones in this part of him as well. You're welcome, Tammy. Yeah, I know I've seen a lot of people put certain posts on. I think I'm going to start doing it as well because you can spend a fortune on colouring books and there may be one sat on someone's shelf that they don't want anymore. So I'm going to start doing a bit more of that. So what I want to do here, I just want to add a bit of a brown in, but more of a warm brown, not a dark brown. Uh, number of my picked out exactly the colour I want. So I'm adding a bit of 40. Oh, them lids. <laughs> Honestly, they're horrendous. So I'm mixing a bit of 69 and a bit of 40. I'm just going to run that along here and into there. I had to need to add a bit more green actually. Hi Kim, welcome. See, I was toss up today between the hoo hoo markers or my um, what do you call them? I'm trying to think, why is my brain not working today? I'm going to look a bit dark with that brain. 
was going to use my RT as a real brush pen, so that's what I was going to use. 39. I'm going to add 39 here. A bit of um, 66. I'm just check because I'm after like a rainy green. I need to add a bit more, not that colour. See what colour this comes out. See, I might need to. Add a bit more brown. Michelle, is this colouring or bingo to that? Ah, <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's a good idea. I'm going to set you now. Thanks, Kat. Every colour I'm going to do, I'm going to do. So, for example, I have used 3 and 9, 39, mixed with a tiny bit of 6 and 6, 66. <laughs> That's funny. I am planning to declutter. Let me just blend this out for a leak because if it dries, it won't blend out. Just one second. And I can read N's comment. I am planning a declutter to have. I have too many colouring books. Me in the hub, I spent half an hour putting my reading books up in the loft as I used my Kindle more. I could open my own library. Gosh, <laughs> number 69, let's colour for a dime. Number 40, it's time to colour not. <laughs> you know, I say ooh hoo hoo markers and I had to watch. I just got the water-based markers, so timing is perfect. Belting, Kim, so you can learn with me today. <laughs> Cat, I know, I didn't realise how many I had. I don't have loads, mate. I, I honestly don't. So I'm playing as a go here, yeah, Kim. So I've no idea how it's going to turn out. I'm just adding to bits. I'm darkening bits in areas because... The birdie I've got has got like that nice. So six and six, sixty-six, mix with six and eight, sixty-eight. Whoa, cat! I don't have that many. And this has got a dirt layer that runs up here and kind of fades out again and into that. I'm just going to blend that in. Honestly, that sounds like someone is like messing around in the side of my house. Who's loose a bit less? Who's done? Da 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 da
let's have a look at these so they've got black feet so i'm just going to add a bit of blue in blue i'm not even using blue what's going on i'm an avid reader i eat books <laughs> shell did you prime the paper with geese or something no nope. i've just gone straight in it has bled a little bit let's have a look just the only place it's bled is just ever so slightly there that pink uh, but none of it none of it is i'm just really really being careful with how much water i'm laying down just being extra careful I've never thought of using geese, to be honest, it's not. It's something I need to probably start looking into, to be honest. I'll just add some of this in. I'm going to add flashes of that in now. Just using the marker burr here. Let's dry on them bits. I'm honestly Kim I'm just playing around with water media at the minute because I'm just like don't know do you know when you get in a bit of a funk and you're like um and I did say f u n k the <laughs> um yeah I'm just in a bit of that at the minute and I don't know I'm trying to find my direction where I want to go and there's some things I want to colour and there's some things I don't want to colour and I'm getting a bit I suppose it's like when an artist gets writing block or um, you know a writer gets writing block I think I'm getting a bit of a colouring block so I'm playing around with some water media to see what what it does. It zishes me up a bit if that's even the right word. I have a trap knife in my left shoulder. Not good for someone left in it. Oh no. Tammy, I hope you get well soon. Have you tried some sometimes um there's deep heat but there's deep freeze. Sometimes deep freeze works really well. Um, I've only just learned about priming colouring book pages for wet media, so that's why I asked. Well, I can learn with you, Kim, because I've not um, I've not done any priming, so I'm gonna come in with the really dark green, which is six and eight, sixty eight, and I'm using the fine liner side, and I'm just gonna come in now and just add some extra texture with them. Just to see what we can do with these and try and get it to look feathery hmm. these are tearing up the paper a little bit weird Maybe it's still a bit too wet. I'll try and wet it out a little bit. This is number 66. It's weird calling out numbers. I think that's my tab, my actual pad that's um, on. Let me just check. 
Let me see. Sorry about that, I'll mute it in a second. Just one moment, I'll... I didn't know it was actually on. Just bear with me one second. In fact, I can read chat now. I've got this. I'm hoping that's my oh my gosh does anyone know how iPads work because I'm trying to get that on silent so it'll stop bleeping <laughs> and I don't know how to do it Right, so let's carry on with this bird. Right, have I missed what have I said what have people said? Let's have a look. You do you. Yeah, I am gonna do Mary. I'm just trying to find out what I don't know, it's what books I've got and what I wanna do for what I wanna get out and start doing, I suppose. Trying to get that bit to look right. Are you in the same funk as well, Kim? <laughs> yeah, it's looking good, but say I'm learning how they're actually going with it at the same time i'm quite impressed because his wings are totally different underneath so that's why i'm trying to watch where i'm going there but i'm quite happy i think with his face i just want to try and add and see what this green will do if i just put it i don't want to put it directly on the page because i think that's when i'm going to start going to get a big bleed and i don't want to do that so let me try this one which is six and one sixty one <laughs> Just add a line of that in here as well. Mind it. I want that light a bit across the crest of his head because I like that. I'm going to kind of zoom out and take a look at it as well. I'm going to do it is before where I use that blue, now that bit's dry. I'm just going to put a few flicks of that onto that red. I'm just doing here. In that very corner of his eye. 
and then it were 696 and I add a bit of that in Trying to think if it needs any more colour. I feel like it's actually good like that. Cat you pet. After lost in a good boot Facebook group. It's a fab group. I, to, I get loads of my boot recommendations on there. But I can also be very addictive and torn. I actually think it looks quite bright now I've pulled that out and leaked at him. I think he looks really good. I think I'll let him just dry off now and then let's move on to his wing. Let's put some of these under here because I'm getting full of... Because his wings are different again. So his wings are like this mad red and green and yellow look going on but quite a dark green so let's get my red out again before and it would help if i didn't launch my markers off my desk wouldn't it Ooh. one second mum duties again on said a no 18 year old child i can still parent I don't know how many times I have to tell him a day. Those fine line of end tips are so neat, nice for detail and I thought, yeah they are, they are quite good. Yeah I think I might do that cat. Let's see what he looks like with his wings done. So let's bring that one back which I put over here. So all this part of his wings is red and that's to about all of this here. I think I'm much better at markers as a water medium. I'm just going to blend that out into the wing because we can add green to it later. It'll just deepen it up and make it look nicer. And then just at the very end here, it's red again. Thanks, Ems. Thanks, Mona. Thanks, Tammy. Amazon Tammy. There's two Tammies. <laughs> Do you have these exact markers too? These are what my husband hid from me for like two weeks and I wasn't allowed to look on Amazon at what he got me because he was dead excited because he said it's not even something off your wish list he said it's something um, I've just got you I was like mm, what is it what is it and the urge to not look honestly it killed me but I didn't look and I opened them and I was like yay muggers what I can water down I was happy with that. So this is number two. This is a really juicy marker, this one. Some of them are quite dry. Oh, 
another long day at work, Tammy. I've not even watched our day 25 yet. So I need to... Um, I need to go on and have a look at them. Hi, Sue. Oh, I love the names Punch and Judy. <laughs> oh, no, I think I've uh, waited too long to blend that out. Okay. Hi, name Twin Tammy. <laughs> Hi, Aspect. Good day. I was going to say then, how's the weather in Australia? But I can't say it. I can't. I'm going to have to get Tammy to give me Australian elocution lessons. <laughs> So it's quite dark, the green on here, so I don't know whether to go with. I have a look at 64. No, it's too blue, that. And I'm already using, what was the 63? Am I using 63 or no? Let me look at this 63. 6 and 3, 63. You have my number. That's a dry one because it's squeaker. Hi, Mandy. Welcome. I do love parrots. I would have an African grey if I had the choice. So with this, I don't want to... I don't want to go into that one because that is pure yellow. So I'm going to be careful with it here. Because there's a definite definition between the green and the yellow. So I don't want to do any blend in there. And then just on the end here. Oh, it's so dry, that one. You say it like... Straya. Basically, take all the syllables out. <laughs> Straya. I think if I had to call the syllables out, I'd still struggle. <laughs> Let's bring that red back. I'm just going to use this 9 to 6. This darker red. This is going to be my worst one or not. I'll have to see. I'm going to come in with this dark one actually. Where did I put my 68? They've all rolled off everywhere. Here, is this 68? Yeah. I'm just going to go in with the marker actually. 
and then it's not very good at watering out from the page to be honest i'm going to go back to putting it on here yeah we're better off doing that so straya here we got it straya straya australia so i don't put the look in australia no don't say it. it must be the wigging in me <laughs> no we'll have to do some lessons tammy we'll definitely have to do some lessons It's Friday for Tammy. Be Friday for me in a couple of hours. For, for Friday. Just one more day of homeschooling to go and then it's back to two days off. Oh, what's happened? Mum loved to take him. Two bits he talked and played a great little guy. We had a green Amazon parrot too. He come for his holidays when his owners went away and they didn't come to take him home, so we had him for many years. Oh Why would they do that? Fragile Worlds is now five pounds on Amazon. <gasps> Go get it. Okay, I think I got it. Straya <laughs> His mother got bored with him. He came on holiday one year and loved it. The next year they didn't come and take him home when they returned and eventually mum said, do you want him? Oh. So where's my yellow card? So I want 38, I think. Number 38. 3 and 8. 38. And that's 33. I didn't pull the right one out. Well, not already got that out, have I? Yeah, you have. So, 38, I'll do it here. And then these are all yellow. Call me yellow metal. You call me yellow metal. Mm -hmm. that's awful i mean when you have an animal you commit to them for life it's i mean i get sometimes the situations where you've got to rehome animals and it's a touchy subject with people but you know getting bored is not an excuse in my eyes it's more of a copy of they don't want the responsibility anymore okay and then i want 32 not 33 actually number 33 Three and three, thirty-three. Oh, <gasps> circle of life is five pound. Oh yeah, Em's told me she found one for five pound. I need to just wait though. That circle of life does look really good. But I've just bought Anastasia's book, so that's me booked out for a couple of days.
Just one second though. Oh, I just nearly sent my phone flying. So, yeah, Em sent me a video and she said this book is this, and I was like, I was like, oh yes. But there was two different versions of Circle of Life and I wasn't sure. One's got like squirrely whirly writing on and the other one's got orange shirt writing. Um so hi Zeus. Do you know what? I should have done that side first because I can't remember what I used on that side. <laughs> right, I think I did 66. I did 66 first. And we did all them. All these bits here. So yeah, I've got a feeling I didn't use that colour. But back in with six and three, six three. I've got a feeling I didn't use that colour. Whoops. See what it's like when I put this dark one in. Hi, Kirsty. Uh, I did just mark her and wet it with a water brush. Yes, <laughs> I did. I'm a retired flip free. Yeah, that's the book I've got today. Well, I've ordered. Right, I honestly think someone's trying to nick my bin. One second. Oh, it's not. It's the gates bashing. And it sounds like someone's nicking my bin. I've just got a new second bin. And if you know, if you're anyone from the UK, you know that our black recycle non-recycled bin is like it only gets emptied every three weeks and obviously because there's six of us in this house i needed it and i needed more another bin so the council have agreed to let me have another bin but i'm just terrified now that someone's going to nick off with it thank you tonya i am persevering
Whoa. I believe that autocorrect is a little devil laughing going on. I'm going to make you sound stupid. <laughs> What's happened? They've been wild, yeah. <laughs> That's five pound fragile oil is too much to be ordered. <laughs> See. For five quid you can't complain, can you? Get it ordered. Yeah, I think that's leaking right now. I was having a panic then thinking, did I use this colour? I don't think I did use this colour, but I think I did. Right, so in with the yellow 3 and 8, 38. Tell you what, whoever's got these pencils, Tammy, is it not a workout to pull these lids off? Like, really hard work to pull these lids off. That yellow is going to blend into his side there. The both the bins together will make it too hard to nick. Good idea. Honestly, you won't believe it round here. They've put a big sticker on it, though, with my address on. But that's easy, puller offable. Um, but, yeah, when we first moved in this house, so this house was built seven years ago, and we first moved into it, and you get, obviously, your four free bins. You get a blue bin for your paper, a brown bin for your metals and glass. You get a green bin for your garden waste. Um, and you get a black bin for non-recyclable items and someone nicked off all. <laughs> so I had to wait two weeks for new bins when I first moved in. I'm thinking they're going to nick them. <laughs> so I'm coming in now with the dark yellow, which is three and three. Oh, 33 and I'm going to yank the lid off it. I think the five pound in the works as well. If you're if you've got uh the works in the UK, if you've got a store called the works and online, they've got them for a fiver in there as well. I don't know why that song is coming in my head every time I use this. You call me yellow mellow. <laughs> I'm not sure if it's a tea advert. Yeah, so the water-based Marcus Custy, so you can water them down. And they come with watercolour paper, so you can do your normal swatch of them as a normal marker and then your water-based side. They're quite cool, actually. I've yet to use my um, Arteza True Brush Markers. I've not used them yet and I've had them probably a year and a half, not longer. I'm just going to add a bit more to this side. <laughs> Shell, paint your bin with your house name number. Paint is much harder to get off. Ah. See, because I have to have them on my front because my gardens, it's not that it's small, but my garden's on an incline. So it goes down towards my neighbour's garden at the back so the only flat bit is at the side of my house where the bins were so the kids have got a big massive rectangle trampoline there that may i add they don't go on um so all my bins had to go on the front and that's probably where it's dodgy grain but the cloth stay dodgy i just hope they don't nick on <laughs> <laughs> that is literally a hard map to yank the lids off the lap and then you shove them back on I'm just going to add a bit of yellow into that green like I did on that side. Oh. 
Hi, Ashley. Are you finishing work? Woo! Have you had a hard day today or a good day? Kirsty, you can PM me if you'd like. Hi, Shannon. Yeah, that's very true. What Shannon said there that can't participate in chat. When I set up my live streams, or if you've got your own channel, you'll know this when you do live streams and when you upload videos, it asks if your videos are for aimed at children and ha I have to tick no. Um, so basically, it's only aimed at over 18s. I know stupid daft YouTube rules. So in chat, unfortunately, if you're under the age of 18, you can watch the streams by all means, but you can't chat purely because it is an adult channel with adult content and the chat may get not very adult, especially in my streams. <laughs> so unfortunately, Zeus, it's nothing personal. But unfortunately, I have to abide by YouTube's rules. And if I've made it not for children, then under 18s can't chat. So it was my decision as well. So that's to clear that up. Sorry, I'm just going back on chat because I kind of got a bit lost. Do, 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 do. Our food bins keep getting nicked, so I know the feeling. <laughs> Those lids are crazy tight. My hands were sore after swatching. Does it change whether it goes through to the other side or not? Um, I don't think I've had that bad of a bleed through, to be honest. I've, the only bit, like I said, it's still only that little red bit there where I put quite a bit of lays on. But other than that, you can't really see anything. There's a tiny bit of green on there, but I will be colouring them in bright colours anyway. Um, so just have to see. I'm just being really careful with the amount of colours I'm using. So let me see, because his under ones are grey. I'll get my picture back up. I think I'm lost in chat me. I think I'm really behind. Are you under 18, Tammy? Right, um, let me... See, if you don't divulge your age to me, I don't know how old you are. So if you state your name in the chat, if you state your age in the chat, then obviously... I have to say that, but if you don't state your age in chat, I have no idea how old you are, so you can chat away. Um, two and three, 23, because well, that does not look great. Hmm. Let me get a test paper up. Now that I will be telling, I'm 18 with 20 years experience. <laughs> oh let me look at these wings 
I think that grey is too blue. There isn't many greys in this set. Oh no, that'll work. That'll work. That'll do, Chief. That'll do. 23. 2 and 3, 23. It's very bluey grey. Have I caught up to chat now? <laughs> I think this is too blue. I'm going to do it all anyway. And maybe I should have used the other grey. I mean, I do think the under 18 thing is weird because under 18 you can have a YouTube channel as well. There's loads of kids got YouTube channels, but I don't know. They're the reels, I suppose. <laughs> I am house sitting next week for a week. How much is too much to take? Like five pencil sets, six books. I am house sitting next week for a week. How much too much is too much to take? That's not too much to take. This grey is too blue. I'm going to put that out there so it's not meant to be this bluey grey. I'll just put that out there. It's, it doesn't look the same colour as that because that's the colour I'm using. Oh no. It is blue, like, <laughs> but that's the lid, that's the colour I pulled out, so that is totally different. <laughs> so don't go off lids. Oh. Yours is for adults with adult content. Yes, it is. So yes, I've really um, messed this one up because I've put the wrong, I picked, I've just gone off the lid. Rookie mistake, rookie mistake indeed. Um, but it's done now, so I've got to carry on. And this lid. I am 17 plus 30 years. <laughs> Shell kids have channels for kids. Yeah, that's true. So they just put it down as content for children. Yeah. I get it. Suppose it's unpredictable. You don't know what's going to get said in your chat and stuff like that. I am really easy going. As you know, how I started my channel. I was telling you all my personal business and stuff. So... It doesn't bother me about it not being a so PG, but obviously I, I don't want my channel being disgusting. There's a difference between having a laugh and banter and it being rude and stuff. So, But yeah, I'm quite an easygoing channel, so I don't really mind what conversations are at length they go to, but just not rude. And I think I've done well. I've only had one time where it got genitalia things was being said. Um, I think that's only ever happened once. So I think in a year and a half, I think is how long I've been 
I've had my channel for. I don't think that's bad going, if I'm honest. And I don't think I've had a trawl since the first week or two when I was um, streaming. And I had a right dirty one. Um, so I think I've done well. But we have had some laughs in here. Shell, I was being silly. I'm really, I'm taking two pencil sets and two books. I bet you'll take more, Ashley. <laughs> well, if you forgo packing clothes, Ashley, then you can take ten books and seven pencils. <laughs> Come here to get away from my kids. I'm not babysitting someone else's. <laughs> I, I stream for you lot to get away from my kids. <laughs> And I'm still having to go an adult on my live stream to um, my son in that room where he won't do as he's told. 18, I've told him that's it. I don't have to uh, adult you anymore. You have to, it's time to fend for yourself. And I'm still going in his room, telling him his dinner's ready, his tea's ready. Go and get a shower, do this, do that. Turning 18 has not changed anything. Right, so I'm gonna go a little bit darker. I'm gonna go watch what I'm doing here now. So let me try twenty because I think I've right messed that up. Let me try twenty. This looks purpley. So all the tops are lighter. I'm going in darker and I'll work my way darker. I can't really see what I'm doing with the top of his wing. Hi Marilyn, happy Thursday. So all under this bit, apart from that bit there, is going to be darker. I'm going to blend that out. <laughs> I can't. <laughs> I come to the streets to get away from my parents. <laughs> That's got me that one. <laughs> Oh, nice one. <laughs> oh, that's tickled me. <laughs> oh, dear me. <clears throat> oh, you off, Sue. Goodbye. Have a lovely rest of the week. He is, isn't he? He's looking good. He's not, it's nothing like a, a pencil thing, but that's 20. I want to move 23 right out of my way. I've just picked that up to use it again. I don't want that. Sliding everywhere. I'm trying to keep him in frame so you can see what I'm doing. I think I'm way back. Shell, that was Ian. What did he say? I come here to get away from my kids. I'm not babysitting. Okay, Ian said it. <laughs> Stop Facebook hacking. I mean, YouTube hacking, Ian. I think I'm way behind in chat. Let me catch up. Ashley, I've been temporarily living with my mum and stepdad and the first almost six months and they are quay quay and Shell can assist to that. Yes, I can. <laughs> Ashley takes me downstairs into the kitchen and they come bombarding for listen to the Brit. They want to hear the Brit girl. <laughs> it's funny.
and the can't wait for me to visit. And Ashley always says, will you stop it? You're going to scare her off and she'll never come. <laughs> right, can I ask, have someone else issues to sleep when it's a full moon? All the time. And I have crazy mad dreams when it's the full moon. I always like really horrible ones as well, not just... Um, Not just like wacky, but like really bizarre ones. You know, the ones that mess with your head and you wake up and you're uh, stuck to your face because it's you've had that much of a panic in your dream. What's that? Why are you a werewolf head with joking? <laughs> no, I was meaning, was Ian, Ian, meaning was Ian the troll? No. No, it was some weird dude. Weirder than Ian. <laughs> I've come to streams to let Catrick and Yitzy chase the old pencils round the stream, the screen. Oh, I love them. And we got a treat. We got to see um, Tammy's rat on her day 24. And we got to see the cockerel. Not the cockerel. It's a lady, wasn't it? What's she called? Ashley, help me out here or if Tam is still in stream. Um, what's the female cockerel called? Hen? I don't know. One or the other. Honestly, this is not coming out how I wanted it now because it's the wrong colour. So what I'll do, I'll have to get some white pencil on that and torn that blue down. It's really frustrating because it's not the right. It isn't the right colour and it just looks blue. You could be empath, Hedwig. That's why it affects me because people's emotions are more heightened. Wait until day 27, the chuck makes an appearance. That's it. I didn't know what day it was on. But um, Tammy's rat has been on. Is that what it's called, a chuck? I can't remember what it was called. I thought that went on today. Have I just spoiled the surprise, Tammy? I'm very sorry. My dogs are too big to bombard my streams. Well, one little dog's not, but my big dog is. I try having my son got his um, Nerf gun out. And my giant schnauzer, who is 49 kilograms, may I add, was terrified of this tiny little pea shooting gun. And he was only shooting it around. He wasn't even shooting it at him. But he was that terrified of this gun, he decided he was going to lie on top of me. He was lying across my shoulder, my head, my neck, my hip, all to get away from this flaming gun. And I was like, get off, Milo. And he wouldn't get off. He wouldn't get off at all until we took the gun off Kean. And it was like... <laughs> it was like a terrified baby. Right, so this side now. This one's like drying out. I'm just going to do all these dark. I ought to go darker yet. The person we do not speak of shall. What's that, Ems? <laughs> the person we don't speak of. I can't remember what I said five minutes ago, me, so... This one is really dry, like there's not much coming out of this at all. Right, 
all these are dark it's like I have to jump a little up. I have to jump up a sometimes me Oh, <laughs> probably, probably, I get you now, I get you, uh... oh yay, full metal, I was going to say full metal jacket, that was just going to come out completely as full, full metal jacket. I'm very sorry. Uh, well, very welcome to have you, Weasel. And I'm glad you've caught me before the end. I don't even know what time it is. I'm just kind of like slowly markering away here. Diving into territories I don't normally dive into. But I'm kind of going with it. I'm going to say one more thing. Please do not use the T word in chat. It brings them to your channel. What T word's been said? Oh, does it? I never knew that. See, what would we do without our Shannon? I never knew that. Yeah, let's not mention it. Let's say a different name. Let's say Trolley Dollies. Hmm? <laughs> Code word. Code word. I just don't like how these don't have a name. Because it would be much easier to tell you what name I'm using. Instead, I'm just going 2 and 0, 20. Really? Oh, no. <laughs> We'll not say it no more. That's I'll get loads. Have you had a lovely week, Weasel? The ones who are not meant to be named. Like Ems was saying, the ones we don't mention. I didn't know there was an algorithm or if you said it, it brought them. That's weird. <laughs> this is running out of... Like, there's nothing coming out. better actually that's coming out a bit better there so I think on Sunday Don't know whether I might carry on with this actually because I might do it as a full thing and do the background and everything. Let's see. 
we will see. I've started getting um, birds. Last year I got birds in my, oh, what do you call it, under your guttering fascias. And they nested in the fascias. And honestly, down the side of my house was horrendous with bird poop. And I've already can hear them in the wall. Now, I don't know if they're nesting because I think it's too early for nesting. It's still a bit cold. But I can hear them all in me. Thing again i think i'm gonna to have to get the people out who can close it up or get them out because they kept my kids awake <laughs> when they were do you know the little baby birds when the mum comes back with the food because this house is a timber framed house so it's not got um like a layer of brick like if that makes sense it's got like one layer of brick on the outside but everything on the inside is wood so it's all you could hear was the baby birds squawking away every however quick they keep feeding them and they were waking the kids up through the night so i'm like what am i gonna do i think they're back oh don't be sorry ems Everywhere. I said it earlier on. Okay, there is tail down here. So I'm going to have to use that number 22 because I used it on the first one. Let me go down here. This under part of his tail. Yes, so I'm excited to get Anastasia's book because I've never had one of hers before. Um, so I thought, hmm. I think I'm going to have it so I messaged her and got a prize for postage and the book. So that's what I've done. I don't know when it gets released. We had little swallows nesting in ours. Oh, I think these are like a, they're not a big bird, but they're not a little bird. They're bright, they're half the size of a magpie and the brown with like a speckly black, uh, a speckly black, a speckly back. Um, and they're quite, they've got a longish beak and they're quite noisy. Um, I don't know what, I'm not too sure what they're called. That is, it is crazy that, well, we'll not test the theory in here. <laughs> I'm just going to blend that in. Okay, and then I want the darkest, which is 21. Well, let me just check if there's a bit of brown. I could use a bit of brown, actually. Let me have a look. Yeah, there is. So let me just get a bit of brown in it. This is our darkest brown. So in places there's this brown so I'm gonna add that in like so Patches of brown. Oh, 
Oh, I'm right to frame. Sorry. We had little swallows. Oh, wonderful weasel. Have you got something good to look forward to this weekend? What's everyone up to this weekend? Anything special? Have they got any colour alongs going on? Any buddy colours? What is happening? So this is number 45. I'm just going to add these where we've got the brain in places. And blend it into the grey. When my son was little, we had bees in the wall cavity of his room. The buzzing drove us all crazy. Oh, no. How did you get them out? They fascinate me how they make them. They really do. They really fascinate me. That's so hard to get these lids off. I'm going to go to sleep sending gold Aladdin genie lamps floating everywhere. Enjoy your sleep, Tammy. I hope your golden floaty lamps bring you all the sleep you need. I need some floating Aladdin lamps in my dreams. I'm not sleeping at minute again. Had a couple of early nights and then I'm back to not sleeping properly again. I just need to do this little bit here. And this little bit here. Now look at the other wing. He's not got as much of this brain in this one. So, got a bit. In this part of the wing. Blending it out. Slightly changing the colour of it because it's blue, that grey. It's um changing the colour to more of a purpley brown rather than a warm brown so but still got to go with it because that's what's in the picture I may get some pencils on it and just make it a bit darker if I need to <laughs> well <laughs> for a moment there I thought the parrot pick on your phone was doing a number two I take it it's a waterfall or something <laughs> where are you looking ems <laughs> I'm having my first job tomorrow so I'll depending on how I feel after <gasps> oh my job's booked for the seventh next sunday a week on sunday um i'm a bit scared 
at the same time because my anxiety all falls around health. So because I hear when people have said, oh, I was ill for three or four days after or I had nothing but bad headaches, I just hang on to what people have said they've had bad happen to them instead of the ones that have had nothing happen to them. I hang on to the ones where people have said, oh, my head was banging me for three days or I got floored for three days with it. So I'm a bit nervous and that's just my anxiety. I've just got to deal with it. Near the wing. Near its wing. Oh, <laughs> I see it. <laughs> I don't think so. No, it's, it's like the, ring it up there. It's like the branch at the back. Like a piece of the branch coming off. <laughs> no, it's, it's funny. As so all these have got like a brown little faded out bit. In patches. Charlotte looks beautiful. I was lurking off to bed now. No problem, Connie. Thank you for coming and thank you for lurking. And your page was absolutely lovely. Fred was beautiful and furry and lovely. I was lurking, then I had my shower. And then I had my tea and then I set up for stream. And by the time I'd logged on to have a quick say bye, he was already off. <laughs> so connie thanks for the lovely stream earlier it was lovely it's always lovely to watch connie i did shut my eyes i did say earlier on i shut my eyes when connie was showing us some more books i was like no i can't do it <laughs> i'll be there for you i'll be like that i'll be sat in the chair going don't stick me with that thing. Don't stick me with that thing. Go on, do it, do it, do it. No, don't stick me with it. Do it, do it, do it. No, don't do it. That's what I'll be like. <laughs> I'm not scared of needles whatsoever. I'm just, I don't know. I could just play on my mind because I'll sit there then. Once I've had the jab, I'll sit there and then I'll be like, I'm going to be ill tomorrow. I'm going to have a temperature tonight. That's how it'll be. I know exactly how it's going to go. Hi, Sherry. What's that copy of what, Sherry? What are you getting? Do sure. Hi, Della. Happy Thursday. I'm just going to put the brown in all of here and just leave the tips out. I'm blending it out with no paint on the ends there. It does look quite good. I'm actually quite impressed. Apart from it being too blue, it's made it look a bit purple in places. 
So last thing I want now is the very darkest grey. I don't really want to put the grey down on the book. I could do, but I don't want to. So I'm not going to put too much water in with it. And then just in here. Maybe I should have probably done that with my um, pencil, with black pencil actually. Because it might end up making it bleed to that other page too much. Mm, it's not. His bright green looks really good, doesn't it? It's just, I'm finding it hard to work with them in a way that I want to work with them, if that makes sense. Like, if I was using my pencil, I would have spent all that time flicking and stuff like that. But I want to, I don't want to just be using pencil all the time. So, just putting a tiny little um, shadow in. Sherry had a man for future positive because they had said I'd get it quicker. If it's not eBay Max Shake, it'll have shipped a month ago. That's a long time, that, Ashley. Have they give you a tracking number? Look away, head you. And stay safe yourself as well. And have a good night. I'm just going to do this side. I'm just going to darken this up. Well, I hope it comes soon. But look how long the stuff took to get to everyone I sent across the water at Christmas that was shocking how long it took I think posters took a massive hit with Covid and stuff it really has as my age five year old mum had no bad effects at all i'll let you know how i get on yeah definitely mine's a week on sunday so plenty of time to mull it over i wished it wasn't that far because i don't really want the time to mull it over i just want to get it done um but i was shocked because i got a letter through from the nhs saying that i have to shield and i've been obviously we've been in this a year now just short of a year and never once have i been told i had to shield um, my GPs knew I had Crohn's disease and never got a letter to say I had to shield in the first pandemic, at uh, the first lockdown, and then it gets a letter through the post two days ago saying you are now um, being identified as someone at high clinical risk um, of catching COVID-19, and if I was to catch COVID-19, I'd be seriously ill. Um and that they recommend me to shield till the 29th of March. 
um but i can't do that because i'm the only one that goes out for food uh shopping so i have to go out and i've done it for the last year um and then they've said we strongly suggest that you boot your vaccine so i booted it but they must be getting that many people now because i think they've just brought a bracket in 16 and over with pre-existing medical conditions and there's a list of these conditions and my husband's conditions are on them list but apparently he's not down for having anything done uh, having a vaccine just yet and if anything he needs to have it more than me because he's working in with the public on the buses so it's like and he's already caught it once Right, he's got his little tail down here, and then I think the feet are dark, they're grey as well. Hi, Sarah. Thank you. My 89 year old mum had no hit, and she has a tendency to react to things. Which one did they have, Kim? Because we've got the some are still having the Pfizer but not as many and now we've got the AstraZeneca the Oxford one so I think I'll be it'll be the Oxford one that I'll end up getting so I'm going to give a little flash of that brain in here as well which was number 45 my eyes deceive me. I'm gonna flash some of that brain in just before it touches the ends. It's because he's already had it. The Moderna. Well, I bet you'll have different, because we've got the Pfizer and we've got that one, so you might have a different vaccine coming over there then. Let me tip that off with a lighter coating of that. Okay, what colour is his feet and his, be his beak? His beak is really dark. Just look at his feet. I'm sure I had a picture of his feet. Oh, yeah. Now, these have got a bit of that blue in. So we'll get 22. Was it 22? Is it 21? 23 it was. Now we need blue. <coughs> Excuse me. If not Moderna, then was the Pfizer. <coughs> oh dear me, sorry. So now we need a bit of a blue grey first. The claws are just black. Oh my gosh, sorry. <coughs> and then they're gonna they're gonna be black, so the legs are gonna be blue. Just need a bit of dark grey. So what I'm going to do with this, I'm just going to come in with it. Because it's got like patches of that blue, so I don't think, because it's too...
just easier to go in with the marker itself. I'm just going to use Kirby's lines as his kind of grid for that. Come onto the beak. I need that 22 or not 23. Where have we gone? For the beak as well. Yeah, it will, it will. It's just my anxiety making me overthink it, I think. And then, obviously, I didn't think of it before because I thought I'll be way down the list of needing the jab. I thought I'd be, like, last on the list. I didn't never even thought that I'd be asked to come in and get it done. So, 20... For our next layer. And I need that blue to shine through patches. So I'm just going to dab. That grey. In places. And then I need 21, which is a really dark one. Do we have black in this set? I'm sure we do. Bring that up into the beak here. And I'm just going to be a bit... I don't even know what the word to use is. I'm just going to like dot it around because I need it to have that texture because the beaks are quite dry looking and there's bits of black and bits of grey and bits of bluey grey hanging around the beak. So I want it to look... There's got to be a black in here. Surely that's black. Where's my little thing with it all off? According to 93, this is black. Oh, yeah, it is. <laughs> yeah, I know. My mum's the same. My mum's happy because I've, I've actually booked it, but it just scares me. That's all. The whole thing scares me. So I'm just putting the black markings in. I'm just going to patch this black around the same with what I've done with the other colours. I think she's 93, the, dark, the darkest near the black. Yeah, that's what I've just got, right, 93, yeah. And then his claws are black. What I'm going to do, I'm not going to use the paintbrush. I'm just going to use the black itself. Because they're really black. It's got like a highlighted area there on his toe.
Oh. Just a bit under that foot there that I've missed. It's not very black when it's down on there. I've used the wrong one. Where have I put the black? <laughs> oh. What am I like? I've used the wrong black. The wrong colour. This is black. I didn't know you could do that with alcohol markers. Shell is doing that show, but only a little water. So they're not alcohol markers, these sherry. Oh, they're actually water based. And they come with um, watercolour paper. For you to do both of. I think the actual. Um, Are they called the brush? Are they just brush markers? I'm not too sure. Um, so... I want to just get a white, my Faber Castile white. Oh no, that's not dry enough yet. I'll just wait for that one minute. And then I need cream for his eye. So like a creamy yellow, like a really dark yellow. I'm just going to do it with the marker rather than wetting it down. And we've got a dark one. That was number 30. Oops. And then this one is number 31. And I'm just going to line the very middle with this because it's a bit of a deeper orange in the middle. And then this, what is done black, what is meant to be, if you look on the bird, unless it's the male's version is quite light, so he could be a male ver he could be a male. No, because it's done in black the same. So yes, they're quite light on there. And then fill that black bit in there. I think it looks really good. I just don't know if it needs a bit more. Add a bit more green into that. It just looks a bit pasty there. I'm sorry, Mum came home and has a thousand questions. <laughs> That's fine. Your mum makes me laugh, she's funny. I'm just going to play around with him a bit more here. Deepen that. It, I've noticed they dry a lot lighter. Um than you think but I could totally um, I 
doing what with um this a little wash over i could totally do them with some pencils as well if i wanted to add a bit more texture to him but my aim of it i need to add a bit more water to that my aim of it was to um to do it all with the markers I'm just darkening that up a little bit I do think it looks good though And then I missed a bit down here, so that's what I needed to do. I have to lug a bunch of stuff out my car before I get to Doug. He looks fabulous, Shell. Thanks, Aspie. I do, I'm liking how he's turning out, I must admit. Because you never know how it's going to turn out, do you? You just jump in head first and it, it'll be what it'll be. That really dark on what looks like black. This one. That's really deceiving that because that is actually a green. That green there. But I actually thought it was black at first. I'm just gonna use a bit to just my stomach's grumbling, I've already had my tea. I'd rather be here than answering stupid questions like what time did you get home? Mm, the same time I do every day. <laughs> oh thanks Ashley. I'm doing an Ashley year actually because Ashley uses a lot of water medium. And um, Ashley just does it and goes, Poom! and it's just amazing. It just goes on and she's done it. It's fantastic. And I sit and stress over um, markers. Right, is it going to look all right? Is it going to look horrible? So I'm trying to make his tail look textured. Textured, I've said a new word again there. That's all kind of bunched together now, which is not what I wanted. <laughs> I'm noticing a lot of them have weird undertones like when layered have heavy or thinned with water yeah they do because some of them I think when I thinned it out with water which one was it the black when I thinned it out with water actually had a bluey tone to it but I know it has um blue undertone anyway I don't know what that is there what is for I'm just trying to add a bit of texture so it doesn't look flat. I'm probably going in with the wrong colour but the way I've seen it drying everything seems to be drying darker. So that's why I've got, oh that's black. See I'm getting muggled up now. Where's it gone? see black spot which is black that looks blacker than the black but that's black and that's dark green so i'll make sure i don't add the black in so i'm not adding as much water to these bits 
I'm just trying to do it again where I think pencil and do it more like a feathery looking texture than a This is where I uh, wished I had tiny little nail brushes or something that I could go for and use. So I want to try and do this without um, doing the pencil. can't make it look I'll textured enough I'll go over it with pencil ah yeah very true I'm just gonna try and Go with Kirby's lines with some of these as well. I'll just try the other brush because this is a lot more finer, but sometimes it squirts way too much water out for what I want. That's black. I've lost that green. Where can it roll off to? Like I've just literally had it. I have a question. Will likely use water-based markers blue through these kinds of books? In places, I'm not going to lie, it has. But literally, just a tiny bit of green there and a tiny bit there. But if I was using colours over the top of that when it's dry, it's not too noticeable. But I've only used water like really, really, really lightly. You've been on YouTube and didn't see you, sorry. No problem, Kenny. Hello, and I hope you've had a lovely week. Try it with this one, it's a bit smaller. How have you been, Kenny? It's merging it together. I think I've lost um, the flicking action I had the other day. It's not doing what I want it to do. I don't know if I'm just ruining it now or if I should just stop. <laughs> I think I might just st stop with that and just do it with some pencils maybe. I'm just going to add some dark greens into that other bit, see if I can get it to look a bit more textured but yeah my marker work needs a lot more practice 
I don't think I can get that same feathered effect that I get when I do it with pencil. To just see how it dries. I'm trying to just follow the lines that Curve is putting, but I need them yellow bits to pop through. But I think when it dry lighter, it'll look better, and it'll have it'll not be as dark as what you see now. But it's a problem. I don't like missing your streams. Oh, did, was you was you meaning you was on another uh, watching YouTube videos and you didn't get a notification? Is that what you mean? Is YouTube being naughty again? It's not your fault anyway, Kenny. Don't worry about it. I'm still here. Alright, so I want to go up to his head a bit. That's number 66. You missed the bingo calling. <laughs> I am well and how's you? I'm doing well. I'm doing well. It's going to be a bit more sparingly over that bit there. Yeah, I think if I was to do this again, I might do pencil for this bit. I'll we'll see how it dries. Hi, Mary. You're new to your channel. I'm really enjoying your colour alongs. Love your birdies, beautiful. Oh, thank you, Mary, and welcome. It's lovely to have you here. Hope you've had a lovely week. I've been a bit awful with this colour on because I haven't really been saying, I have said what I've coloured in a way, but sometimes i've forgotten the numbers so i'm thrown off because i'm not used to saying numbers i'm used to saying i'm using blue chartreuse or i'm using green plum green or whichever <laughs> let's see if that's dry enough now for my pencil i'm just going to add some highlights in on his nose and his on the feet they've got like i'm just using my um Prism, not Prisma. Oh, what white is it? Polly. <laughs> I was scanning channels to watch and then I saw you. <gasps> so YouTube was being really naughty, Kenny, wasn't it? And not give you a notification again. <gasps> Kenny definitely do. Oh, can't, can't wait to see you colour it. I'm just putting its highlights in, its beak. You're getting a lot of great texture with them, it's great. It he does. I'm looking at him and thinking he does look quite bright and vibrant. I think it's just the close up with me, I'm like you know what I'm like everyone. I'm not sure where else I need to go. So what time are we on now? 11 o'clock. Right. I think I'm just going to lastly put 
Where's my little um, Signal Uniball? And I'm just going to put proper white bits in. Come on, start looking. Are you having none? Add that in a little bit on his feet. So I'll just going to move some of them up there so I can kind of sort my desk out and pan out a bit on it and have a look at it properly. Get the uh -huh -hoos. So it does look really good. I think from a distance. I'll just start my zoom out, it's gone a bit funny. Yeah, I think it does look good. I'm actually really proud. So the other one will probably be a bit more colourful because um the other one is sat on a perch, isn't it, with the back of him, so it'd be interesting to do the two. So what I'll do, I'll finish off camera this side of the book and then we'll do the other side on camera <laughs> on Sunday. Oh, thank you, Mona. Oh, thank you, Tammy. I've got somebody else coming. Have I missed someone? I've just seen someone right high now, so I'm like, have I missed someone coming? No problem, Sherry. Have a good rest of your week, honey. Thank you for coming. So, yeah, I think when he's dry, he'll look really good. Um, or should I do the other side in pencil as a comparison? Or I may do... paint. Let me know in the comments after the stream whether I should do it. Pencil on this side and paint on this side. Or should we do... Mm, trying to think what else media I could do. I only really have pencils. <laughs> um, yeah, should I do this side pencil or should I do um, base your birds with pan pastel? Oh, I've never even, I've still not opened my pan pastels, Luke. They're here and they've been sat here in this box since I got them. <laughs> I have opened the box but I've not even tested them. But I have got them. I will be testing them soon. It's going to look even more interesting when dry. Yeah, he's still quite damp. I don't know. I think. I don't know if I'd like to do a pencil version on this side and then the painted version on this side and try and match it up. So do both in match so they do both in match so they match. He's looking gorgeous. Thanks, Kelly. Yeah, I'll do that. So Sunday we'll do the other one. Um we'll do this one. Because I don't think that'll take me as long because I've only really got his head to do the rest is the wings. Um, so he'll not take as long. So I'll do the branches off camera and I might be able to use my pan pastels on Sunday uh, for the background. You're welcome, Mona. Cat! <laughs> is that because I've not opened my pan pastels? <laughs> Okie dokie, everyone. Well, thank you very much for coming along to the stream and... I really appreciate it. You know that I'm not very good with markers, so it's not anything amazing, but 
it's a start we've got to start somewhere and i can't keep avoiding them forever so thank you very much everyone for coming thanks to the mods thanks to everyone in chat hi and thanks to everyone in the background lurking have a lovely rest of the week and i will see you all on sunday stay safe everybody and thank you for coming along